Hi boys and girls, it's time to move on to our next topic, which is simplifying fractions. We have a new vocabulary word, which is simplify. So in box two of your homework sheet, I'd like you to write that word and its definition. To simplify means to make an equivalent fraction using the smallest numbers possible. Now, how do we do this? How do we simplify? Well, you're going to be dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number until you cannot go any lower. So let me give you some examples of how we do that. All right, we have the fraction 10 twelfths. And if you notice, the numbers are quite high in both the numerator and the denominator. So what we need to do is we need to divide both numerator and denominator by a number that is divisible by both of them to create a smaller yet equivalent fraction. So you need to ask yourself, which number goes into both 10 and 12? And you can do this a number of ways. You can do mental math in your head, think about your multiplication facts, think about your division fast facts, or you can go ahead and, and start listing numbers as well. So I know that the number two is divisible by 10, and I know that two is divisible by 12, because two goes into both of those numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide my numerator by two, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing to my denominator. So 10 divided by two equals five, and 12 divided by two equals six. Now, at this point, you always wanna ask yourself, can I go any lower? Because the name of the game is how low can you go? So five sixth, is there any number that goes into five and six besides the number one? And that answer would be no, because nothing else goes into five except for one. So this is now in lowest terms. We have simplified this fraction as low as it can go. Let's try the next one, eight twelfths. So we need to think of a number that goes into both eight and 12. Now let's try two, because I know two goes into eight and I know two goes into 12. So we'll try dividing by two. Eight divided by two equals four. And 12 divided by two equals six. All right, so now I'm at four sixths and I ask myself that question again. How low can you go? Can I go any lower? Is there any other number besides one that goes into four and six? And that answer is yes. Two actually goes into both of them as well. So I'm gonna divide again. Four divided by two equals two. And six divided by two equals three. So my simplified fraction in lowest terms of eight twelfths is two thirds. That's the lowest equivalent fraction that I can get because I cannot divide by any other number except for one to make it go any lower. Let's try one more. Three sixths. I need to think of a number that goes into three and six. Three can be divided by three and six can be divided by three. Three divided by three equals one and six divided by three equals two. So my lowest term, simplest form of 3 sixths is 1 half, and I cannot go any lower than that. All right, now it is your turn, boys and girls, to simplify some fractions here on your homework sheet. We have 20 25ths, 4 16ths, and 24 30 seconds. So try your best with those problems. And if you still have questions or comments or strategies, please make sure to put them in box number four of your homework sheet and we'll discuss them in class tomorrow. You've been flipped with Mrs. Monopoly.